What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a walk around of my 2002 Toyota Tacoma. So we'll just start up front and work our way to the back. Uh, first bumper is from CBI Off-Road. It's their Moab 1.0. I absolutely love the lines and everything of this bumper. Uh, headlights are retrofits, projector retrofits from TEQ Customs. Uh, these are the front and rear switchback halos with turbine shrouds. I think they look absolutely killer. I have wired up these headlights so that I can choose whether I want them white or amber. Um, kind of fun to switch it back and forth and not be stuck with one or the other. Some people have the white as a daytime running light or the amber as like a blinker. I just like to switch things up and that's kind of how I chose to do that. This grill is from Taco Vinyl. It's their Raptor grill. Uh, I just love the styling of it. I haven't really seen too many others that are like that. Um, the wrap on it is custom. These letters were just white, but I kind of matched the topo up top with the letters just to kind of change it up a little bit. Moving on to front suspension. Right now I'm running a Bilstein 6112 coilover. It's set at about max height, so about 2.75 inches of lift. And then we are running a SPC upper control arm as well so that you can get the adjustability and everything for the alignment. Uh, must have if you're going to be going over two inches of lift in my opinion wheels. These are from summon off-road They are the bronze Raptors in a negative 12 offset uh, 17 inch. I absolutely love the bronze on this truck bronze on white is just hands down uh, Something I just love tires. These are the Falcon Wild Peak AT3s, um, and they are a 285 7017, so just about a 33 inch um, tire. Also, since we're down here at suspension, I do have a spindle light right here. This is from Snowbound Customs, uh, the bracket. The light itself is a Diode Dynamics SS1, and it is a spot beam. It's actually super bright for how little they are. Very impressed with those. So these lights themselves are from Desert Armor. They are the spot flood combo. I've really loved them. They've done really well for me. The ditch light brackets themselves are from CBI Off-Road. Uh, install was pretty easy. They're not like the ones that bolt under the hood, but they actually bolt down below the fender here. So that was kind of tricky, but they are super stout. Uh, they've probably been on the truck for three and a half years now, and I've never gone back in to tighten them down or anything, and they've just been super sturdy up top for lighting these are pods from alibaba they're kind of like a baja designs knockoff each one is a spot flood combo there's a total of seven up there and they are actually pretty bright so i've been really stoked with how these are performing uh, each one of these pods does have like a drl backlight it is kind of hard to see an amber backlight. It is really cool at night to see them all lit up. And uh, the rack that these are sitting on is from Prinsu Designs. Super low profile. I love the way that it shapes with the cab. Allows you to mount so many different things. This is a drill application, so you do have to drill holes in your roof, which can be kind of daunting, but I mean, I'd never go back now that I have it. And obviously I can mount so much stuff up there. Um, let's take a look what we do have up there. Up here we got two Plano boxes, Max Trax MK2s. Um, and that side I just hold compressors, um, other tools and uh, recovery gear. This side's just mainly tools, wrenches, um, things like that. I also keep like spare electrical wires and everything on hand. You never know what's gonna happen. Just wanted to get you a better look at the custom topo uh, wrap that I've put on here. It's like a bronze with like a darker brown uh, topography and it looks wicked. 
uh, for armor. These rock sliders are weld on rock sliders from 4X Innovations. They are DOM tubing with a square main. They've been absolutely uh, essential to have. These do have the kick out on the back to kind of help kick obstacles out from your tires and whatnot. Uh, for a rooftop tent, this is a CVT Mount Shasta. It's probably like a three-man tent. Uh, it's pretty roomy. It is kind of big being up there. I did used to have a bed rack, but I really enjoy the tent. It is super comfortable, very well made. Uh, the tent is sitting on a Prinsus Design top rack, uh, basically meant for the topper to match their cab rack. So I love having the racks all the way across the back, the entire truck just makes mounting uh, options. Just, there's just so many mounting options. Uh, back here, I just do have some cheap little uh, two inch lights. They're kind of like chase lights. Uh, they've done really well. They can also be like scene lights for camping and other things like that. The topper itself is from Snug Top. I found it uh, on Facebook Marketplace from a local guy that was only a couple hours away and decided to jump on it since they are so hard to find. Rear bumper is also from CBI Off-Road. Uh, I believe this is their Bushmaster. Full wrap around, uh, single swing out. Um, it's super high clearance. Um, I love the look of them. I have had a lot of questions about this. I just put it on a couple months ago. CBI doesn't currently make any armor for the first gen Tacoma. We'll see if that changes. I don't know. I just have kind of gotten lucky with living so close to them and being able to work with them. So that's been a dream. This is just a spare tire bag I snagged off of Amazon because I still do have the Steely spare. I'm waiting for Summit to get the Raptors back in stock so that I can get a matching one. Um, but yeah, I'd love that I can have a full size spare on here now. Uh, for suspension in the rear, we are running a All Pro Expedition leaf spring with their four inch shackles. Um, I've absolutely been blown away with the ride quality on these. I thought it was gonna ride like a one ton being such a light truck and heavy duty leaf springs. Um, they are supposed to hold like six, 700 pounds and still maintain three inches of lift. So I don't know if I quite have 600 pounds on here, but um, they do give about three and a half inches of lift and I've paired them with a Fox 2.0 shock. Um, been pretty pumped with how everything is performing. I will say really quick, I do have some frame plate reinforcements coming for this from Tacoma Beast. Um, they should be here in a couple weeks, so there will be a video coming up on the channel about um, welding and installing those on, so stay tuned for that. I do get questions a lot about how I've ran all my wiring. This is a switch panel from Oxbeam. It has eight switches. Um, each switch kind of has a different amperage. Uh, these first two are like 30 amp. Uh, then these two are 20s and then 10s and 5s and so I've ran everything to this I think I have all the spots filled. I mean I could change wiring around and whatnot But if you're gonna be running more than one set of lights, I would highly recommend something like this Because it allows you to run so many different things and you don't have to run a switch and wire and everything Into the cab um, and I can show you what they look like underneath so this is the box where I have it mounted just up on the right uh, driver's side fender. Uh, you pull this little cover off and it has all these different spots. Um, so that all you have to do is just run the positive and negative wire into each of those screws. You screw them down. Each button has its own fuse so only one fuse will blow if it needs to. The whole thing is controlled by this 60 amp fuse that I've just mounted right here. Um, so highly recommend if you're gonna be running more than one uh, light accessory that that's the way to go. Since we got the hood open, um, I do wanna show you, I do a, I have a washer relocation. This is fully aluminum again from Snowbound Customs. Uh, typically the big washer reservoir would come up right here and then it sticks this huge, uh, the tank actually sits down here in this hole um, and then has a big cover and everything. So if you are running larger than stock tires, you will rub on the box in this section at full bump. And so this gets that whole box out of there, tucks it up behind the headlight, um, still easy to fill. 
um, and fully aluminum means that it's never gonna crack or break like the other one did. Some people have also asked about this cup holder. Um, it is 3D printed and it is like almost a perfect color match. I believe I got it from like BH Designs, I think is what it's called. Uh, I'll try to find a link for it. Um, but perfectly color matched and um, the fact that the four wheel drives lose two cup holders, you only have two, you get four more and then my wife uh, puts her phone right here when we go on long trips and stuff and she really loves having a place for her phone. Inside here I do have a full set of WeatherTech floor mats. Um, I have absolutely loved these, they've been a lifesaver. Uh, they keep all the sand, dirt, snow, mud, everything off of the carpets. And then when they get super dirty, you just pull them out, rinse them off, and they're like almost brand new. Uh, they have a ton of coverage. You can see from the back all the way under the seats, across, and down to the other side. So full coverage. I almost never have to vacuum my carpet back here. I mean, no one really rides back here, but they do just do an excellent job of keeping everything out. And there it is. That is my walk around of my 2002 Toyota Tacoma. I really appreciate you taking the time to check in. I am pretty sure I've missed something. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments down below and I will get to them and answer any questions that you have. And uh, as for now, I'll catch you in the next video.